Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another fishing video. Today is going to be a special day. It's going to be a family salmon fishing day. The weather hasn't cooperated because you can see the rain has come down. The water is so chocolatey and it's fast. It's blown out. But we're here despite of the rain and we got all the tents out. So let's do a little bit of a walk tour. I got about 20 or 30 hooks already pre-made. <laughs> and laminated, I knew it was gonna rain. I mean, we're pretty good with tents right now, eh? Yeah, it's looking pretty good with tents. Yeah, there's another one going up. I have another rod here if somebody has an extra spinning reel. Yeah, I think so. Let's hope uh, nobody gets hurt today, though. I don't think so. That's my only concern. Yeah, I'll watch. Okay. Yeah, adults keep watch for sure. And we got a life buoy. Yeah. We got a life buoy over there. Yeah. We'll do a little powwow before we get going. Yeah. The bead man. McFrugal man. Yeah. McFrugal's number one customer. I don't know where else to put these. So if you can hear me in the back there. Okay. Um, so first of all, welcome to the second annual battalion fishing day. And the first annual fishing yeah. is my happy family event. Woo! 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 Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> so we decided to com uh, combine the two events uh, into one to make it easier for everybody. Uh, this is Brennan. He's the uh, creator of BBTV, Fishing is my happy place. When you are casting, please be careful of people behind you and around you, okay? Be hook safe. From a safety perspective, that's all I have. So, Brennan, over to you. Okay. Make sure your barbs are pinched as oh, well. Oh yeah, make sure your barbs are pinched, yeah. guys. Okay, there's a couple of things. <laughs> um, we got a few volunteers, but I see there's a lot of adults here. Alex? So if you guys need a hand with anything, Rocky's around, uh, oh, they're good. gonna be available for you. And okay, then okay. we have a few nets. So, we're gonna try and keep the fish in the water as safely as we can. But I prefer nobody get in the water at all. Uh, yeah, it isn't the fish, we need to ID them. We need to that's find right. out their hatchery or wild. So, yeah, so if you guys are not familiar with what we're talking about, we're trying to get coho salmon. And it has this fin that's missing. That's what we want. Okay, with the fin, it's wild, so it has to be released. If you want to get familiar with the species, they're all right here. There's regulations as well, as well over there, and as well as sponsors. So this is going to be, if everybody hasn't signed up yet, I'm going to need everybody to sign up so we can do a raffle at the end of the day. And guys, no trash. Okay, we're going to pick up garbage at the end of the day, maybe take about 10 minutes, pick up 10 items on the ground. We've got to keep it clean. Respect the campsite and respect nature. That's right. So there's going to be an outhouse around here. Once we see some light, you're going to find an outhouse. It's, it's just directly that way. You can see the light. Quarter mile the down there. <laughs> there's also a wash station there if you guys want to wash your hands. And then the tackle table, if you can do anything, you come over here and get re rigged. If you guys can take like two or three boys each and then just oversee them and help them and just manage a small group. Okay, okay have fun, guys. Okay, battalion boys, you logs are over here. There's the condition of the water today, guys. What can we do? That's all we can do. Boom! Look at that cast, eh? All the way to the other side. Wow. The water has boiled over. Hey. The water, I don't know if the fish can see your bait. I know, it's pretty murky, eh? You'd have to go closer to the shore. Yeah. Or what? Yeah, that kid's casting really well, like close to shore. Yep. Like it's a nice drift here. I just don't know if the fish can even see a foot ahead of them. He, uh, he had one on. Who did? I did. You I did? did? Yep. Oh, great. <laughs> I see a few go through. They're really close. Yeah, really close. So that kid should go lower then. They get hooked up over here. You might want to drop it two feet below the barber. 
Yeah, this is the condition, guys. We can't change the day because we've already kind of set, but just making the best of it. So the kids have kind of spread out, but they're accompanied by the adults. So somebody hooked up into a spring already. Really? Yeah. Half dead or full? I don't know. They lost it. Oh, oh but it was down, down in just the Just over here. Hey, man, how you doing? That's what I figured in that fast stuff or in that slow stuff. Yeah, slow, slow stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. like there, really guys. like hugging the shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're just lining up. Fun. You want dogs or burgers? Go for the burgers. Do I go for burgers on mine? Mine burns hot. Yeah. I had a chicken burger. Same stuff, my kids. My food is smoking. I've been up since 4.30 in the morning. This is the identification check. So these are the different fish that are in here. <laughs> So let's do a little bit of a walk tour of what's going on. And here's Sam. Hi. Say hello. 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 Any fish bites today? Nope. Nope. <laughs> two bites, he says. You got two bites? And then we got the, and I saw the heater right here. I saw two bites oh, yeah. Nice. Cool. There you go. At least we saw fish. So this is where oh, we're doing a tackle. A lot of kids have already come back. And uh, we're doing up the uh, reties and the leaders. So we got uh, beads, big beads because the water's chocolatey. A lot of pre-tied, so a lot of volunteers are pre-tied. Got a bunch of barbers in there. We got a tailgate full of tackle and we got a bunch of rods. So a lot of fishing rods. People have uh, donated their fishing rods for the day. And we got a raffle going, we got a row station right here. And then we have some infographic sheets of, about salmon. Here we go. So we have the ocean phase and the spawning phases, and then we have the telltale signs of the species. And so let's use the hot dog. And right here we have the salmon life cycle. So just a little bit of information for the kids to read. And we got some donation from Mr. Dean Johnson, Hook of Dreams, right here. And then we have the sponsors right here. So uh, Starbucks. Uh, and then we have Gibbs, and we have Shandor from Northwest Rubber, and Shore Lord. How about you guys? Are you guys catch any fish? Uh, no. No? We're still having a good time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah awesome. Are you guys excited to get some prizes? Yeah. yeah. Wait, is okay. this Piku one of the prizes? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> and then we have Steve's right here, Fishing Adventures, so a sturgeon guide donated a four hour trip to a winner, okay? And we also have uh, Wild BC Fishing Adventures, Mr. Tim Manweiler. There you go. So this is his stuff right here. So these are all the kids that entered. So we're gonna do a little bit of raffle at the end of the day and we have uh fishing some half place stuff right there to give away. Okay, and we got some look at this. He got some tackle for us. And then we have some gift cards. Okay, and we got a tackle box, and we got some fillet knives. We also have the stuff Fred's gift cards from Mr. Shandor. These are $50 gift cards, so kids can go in there and uh, purchase whatever they wish. And then we have some tackle from Krista from Gibbs Delta Tackle. And then we have some stuff from Tom, uh, from uh, Joe, and then we have a reel here as well, for courtesy of Matt Chester. Some fillet knives, some rocky jigs right there. And here we are. So we're just trying to make the best of the day. And let's take a little walk tour of our grilling station. So it's kind of a jumble mess here. We got a couple grills. Starbucks coffee. Okay, we got some hot chocolate, chicken burgers, hot dogs. So these are all the things that the anglers of the group and uh, yeah, they just put it all together, all these tents. What's up, Joe? Hey. How are you guys doing? Wet, but still having fun? <laughs> yeah, but wet, but there you go. It's become kind of a picnic event. So here we are. Whoop, whoop. Hey, what's up, bud? How's it going? Any bites today? No, nothing no, today. Yeah. What can we do, right? Yeah. Right? Hang out. Just hang out. Okay, then we got a little banner here for the group. So yeah, check out the link below. Here we are. Oh, I 
So quite a bit of a turnout. We got about 32 kids signed up and uh, quite a bit of adults to help them guide along the way in case they get snagged up or any tips at all. So here you go, we're gonna start cutting these up and get ready for our draw. Can I put my dad's name in? Oh, it's just for kids though. Oh, okay. Yeah. We kind of made it a thing so like if you go to school, you get you get to go in. I go to school! There you go. Homeschool. Oh, that counts. Now you're in fishing school. You're like a salmon now. I love fishing. It's so fun. Do you? Yep. Even though you're getting skunked? Yep. Oh, that's, I don't really care. that's good stuff. I haven't caught a fish in years. What? Well, that's a good attitude. I haven't caught, caught a fish ever. That's a good attitude I've still. I've caught everything but a fish. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've caught two sea pickles, uh, something else, and then something Sea cucumbers? Else. Yeah. Like something that looks quite straight. My brother was fishing and he caught a clam. Like it actually bit his hook. Love and excitement, guys. That's what it's all about. So I did something that, that yes, Sam? the lens couldn't even understand what it was. What? You guys hear that, guys? That's the kids that love fishing even though they're not catching. That's That says something. That's what it's all about. So, but yeah, the prizes, the donations, guys, That's that really made it because it kind of gives a little bit of a prize even though there's no fish caught. And the community building is just awesome because this is all... The drum Volunteer. Here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Right. Can you make it biased to me, please? Oh, what? Can you make it biased to me, please? Biased? I don't know. Brendan, what's the biggest fish you caught? The biggest? Yeah. Oh, probably the sturgeon, uh, almost six feet. Oh, I think it was... Look at that. Oh, the Cabela's gift card. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't even know how big those ones are. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do this. That'd be hard. Marshmallow roasting experts. Yeah. Yeah, what's the best combo? Mars? So how do you, is anybody going to show me how to do it? Uh, Tyson, you go, um, you go to the fire. You put it in. How long? How long do you put it in there? Yeah. Right here. For like, one minute. One minute? Yeah, you have another stick like that? Do you have another? Yeah, there's more sticks over here, guys. And here's the other one. And here's the other one. Nice. Trying to make 34. It's 30, I thought it was 33, and now it's 34. 33 is what I got. Okay. Not a big deal. Well, Tom did this one too, right? Yeah. It's so two colorful. Trips. But then there's two traps too. Right? Yeah, right here. Oh, there you go. You counted these two? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure. Cool. Yeah. Saving up from last one. Yeah. Right on, Tim. Uh, Tim, happen. thanks for the donation, bud. No problem, buddy. Why don't you tell us about yourself? What's well, the What's the biz? Uh, Wild BC Fishing Adventures. Why don't you hold up your little sign over there? So here's the little QR here. So this is Tim right here, Wild BC Fishing. I don't know if you get checked out our video. It was pretty epic to show me how to sturgeon fish. And that's his number right there, 604-791-2529. And he donated for the kids, right? Right, absolutely. It's all about getting the kids out fishing. Yeah, and... Uh, Teaching the next generation on how to do it. There you go. And how to roast marshmallows. And when how to roast you, when you can't catch fish, right? Right, exactly. But well, it's a slow day, they're out there roasting marshmallows and awesome. having a good time anyways. So where, where, where do you, where do you uh, guide normally? I guide at a Chilliwack or Hope. Chilliwack uh, Hope. Either, either uh, Island 22 or up in the canyon. Okay, perfect. Right on, and you also know Steve as well, don't you? Yeah, Steve uh, Steve Simpson, Steve's Fishing Adventures. So Steve's another guy that also donated. Of course, Tim had probably had something to do with you trying to coerce him to get in there, huh? Right, I told him he come. Told him to come, I told him, uh, hey, I'm donating, you should donate. And he's like, <laughs> oh, of course I am. We, it's all about kids, we're both fathers, we uh, we love it, we love doing it. It's, awesome, that, it's, that it's plain and simple, we love fishing and I love seeing kids smile when they catch fish. What do you think about our conditions today? Uh, it's been tough, really yeah. tough today. The water is almost like a good tasty chocolate milk today. But the, the, you know, you know, I know no kids are complaining about fish. Right? No kids are not, not a single complaint I've heard no. all morning. I mean, look at these guys. All you need is marshmallows. <laughs> and we got Mr. Joe taking care of the prizes. And we got Miss Sam selection. making sure we got the counts right. How many you got? Okay, 29. 30, 31. 32? 33? Perfect. Okay, great. I think there's 34. 34 now? 1, 2, okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. Got that one? <laughs>
I need an expert counter. <laughs> yeah, I've only got ten <laughs> fingers, and that's about as hard to count. Okay, we're approaching Mr. Jerry, and he's back on the show. Hey, guys. I going? noticed you helped out a lot of kids with the tying there. Yeah, I'm trying to. But you can't help him with the fish, though. I cannot. Exactly. <laughs> I cannot. But uh, hey, well, we're here, though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So typically, you wouldn't even come out for these type of days, right? Not me personally, no. Um, if the water hadn't arisen, like this morning, it was probably three, four feet of it, uh, feet of viz. It yeah. was perfect, right. absolutely perfect, dirty, uh, still fishable. Uh, as soon as we had the amount of rain that we did, and it hit Chilliwack Lake, whole river just blew out. It's yeah, because I noticed yesterday was really good fishing. Yeah, but yesterday was fantastic fishing because it was on the drop, right? So it's the spikes, rain stopped. Yeah. And then it, as it drops down on the graph, like fishing with rod talks about it a lot. Yeah. As the graph drops for the water level, the fishing becomes better and better. Right. And then there's a certain point in the clarity where almost anything works for a good little while, and then it kind of tapers off as it gets super clear. Then it's more finesse fishing. Right. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Right now it's just basically a hangout, guys. A good old BC rain coast hangout. But Pretty hey, much. still good time. Oh heck yeah! So you said you got four hits over there. Yeah. This like a chum bite, coho bite. Oh, no, no idea. idea. No idea. <laughs> but definitely snap your line. <laughs> Show me how to make marshmallow s'mores. Can I see your marshmallow s'mores? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of you guys. I want to see these marshmallows. Okay. Three, two, one. Right on. <laughs> Is that the best marshmallows ever or what? Yep, they're the best. They're the best. <laughs> Love it. Oh, but, oh, no, I'm not sad at all. I'm just tired as hell. <laughs> I, I, I saw you napping there. Oh, it felt so good. <laughs> it felt so too, good. Too much sugar in the morning. Oh, yeah. Wow, this thing really does radiate, eh? Oh, it's nice. Dude. This shirt's almost dry. Oh, nice. It's wicked. Had I known what kind of... Yeah, those guys caught a few bites over there. Yeah, yeah you had a couple? Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, uh, the people in the front can huddle down and so the people in the back can see. Okay, thanks for coming out, guys. Um, the weather has been kind of, you know, what it is. But we're here and we're troopers and we came out and uh, we gave it a heart out. Anybody get any bites at all? Yeah. There you go, hands up, show them around. We, we, this proof, we did have bites, not just snags, right? Yeah. But no fish, right? No. Oh well, it's not about, that's what it is, guys. It's not about uh, catching all the time, so, but we're out here, we're trying, and we got to meet new friends. And hopefully we can keep doing this every year. And uh, I just want to give a super shout out because we're not coming home with fish, but we're coming home with prizes. So every kid's going to come home with a prize. Oh, yeah. So I got to give a shout out to the sponsors because, uh, so if you haven't yet, take a picture of this guy because, you know, these guys are the guys that donated for you guys. So we got Giz from Krista. And we have Shandor from Northwest Rubber, Shore Lord Lauren. And then we have Miss Langert from Starbucks. Where are you? Somewhere. And so, yeah, you get to finish off the coffee. And we got my group, YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. See you guys there. And then uh, we have Wild BC Fishing Adventures. So they donated a Sturgeon Guide trip for our trip. And we have Steve's. Fishing Adventure. Also, we got two guide trips for the main prize. So that's going to be awesome. And we got um, Mr. Hoopa Dreams right here as well. And a few guys from the fishing group. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, but let's go ahead and do the raffle. So I got my beautiful assistant right here. You want to give it a mix and choose one for me? Mason Hall? Mason. We're going to save the two big ones for later. So, so I think that uh, we'll save these two for last with the guide trips, but you can basically just choose anything you like. You gotta do it quick though. Okay, next one. Yeah, yeah go ahead. You want a fish reel? Well, here you go, bud. Congratulations. So this is from Matt Chester. There you go. Can we have somebody take pictures of the winners? Okay, so let's do the uh, sturgeon trip until we figure out how to separate these two. Sweet. Sturgeon okay. trip. Isaac. Vanderhoven. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> There's one sturgeon there you go. trip. You choose which one you like. So you got one of each. What are, what's, what are so they're, what they're, they're both the same. Steve Simpson. Simpson. All right. <laughs> so you get, which uh, boat do you want? One with uh, Steven. 
Steve. Steve, this, this guy right here. Or this, is guy. this man right here. <laughs> All right. That one? Yeah, yeah. Tim and Wheeler. Tim, how about a photo? Hold, hold that open. Tim, Tim. Yeah, yeah. Tim, get in here. Get a photo of him. There you go. Hold that up for him. There you go, Tim. Congratulations. I'll show you a whole new client. Here's your new client. Woo! Okay, then the other one. Yeah, yeah. Daniel. Or the other guy trip. Daniel. There you go, bud. Daniel, yeah, buddy. Yeah, with Steve, so you just have to yeah. do his email. Okay, yeah, yeah. Get over here with Steve. Yeah, we'll Steve. Okay, we're going to have to do a redraw, guys, because we have stuff that just came in. Sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey. All right. Nice, big spot. Okay, we're going to do a quick one, guys. guys. Can I do it quickly? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. There you go. You guys want some big ones? <laughs> some massive floats. Holy crap. They're coming out, guys. That's a lot of gear. Oh, amazing, amazing. Okay, that's it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six prizes. Lucas? Lucas. Oh, right there. Oh, nice, man. <laughs> okay, guys. Doing, we got a fly rod. Nice. Who's up for a fly rod? Woo! Last one. <laughs> Don't leave too quickly, guys. I'd like to have one group photo. And um, let me know if you guys like this, then we can do it again next year. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have Levi. What? Yeah, yeah Levi. There you go, bud. Nice. Okay, guys. Thanks for coming out. Can we just do one quick group photo if we could? Of course. Right. Kids? Uh, kids. Uh, All of those prizes, boys and girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big kids in the back. Big kids at the back. Yeah. Big kids at the back, small kids in the front. Yeah, well, then everybody like, everybody come as a beginner small kids. Medium. Everybody in the front, kneel down. There you go. Everybody hunch down and the people in the back stand straight. Do I see that? Oh, Daniel's on the edge. So on three, you gotta say limits, right? One, two, three. Limits! Hold up those prizes. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Hello there, everybody. That's it. That's the end of our fishing day. Unfortunately, there was no fish caught, but at the end of the day, it didn't really make a difference because the kids had a good time. We were out here to take the kids out fishing, and fishing is fishing. It's not always catching, and those kids were really eyeing down all the prizes, so we had a little, we kind of dangled a little, a little bit of fruit in front of them, and that is the sponsors. Thank you very much, sponsors. So that's regards to Miss Krista from Gibbs Tackle, and then Shore Lord Lauren. So I'm gonna leave all of these descriptions. Hook of Dreams, Mr. Gene Johnston, Mr. Shandor from Northwest Rubber, Mr. Tim Manweiler, and Mr. Steve uh, Guide Fishing Adventures. And then, uh, so we have a, a, also a few giveaways from the group, Mr. Kevin, Mr. Matthew, and all our, of our volunteers. Amazing turnout, guys. And the Starbucks as well from Ms. Langert. And I um, hope I didn't miss anything because it would be really bad if I did. But tight lines, guys, and uh, these kids, I'm really happy they came home with something. So I hope you guys like that adventure. Tight lines, happy fishing. If you haven't yet, please do like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more uh, fishing adventures. And if you haven't yet, check out my other ones. Join my fishing group. And see you guys on the next fishing adventure. Bye for now. Today, uh, oh hello there, everybody. Welcome back. It's the end. 
Hello there, everybody. Set up in the rain, it don't matter. We, we collected all these things together and we were able to come out. And we were able to come out winners. If you guys like that fishing adventure, if you like, see you guys on the next fishing video.